A rape allegation against a top division chief in the Texas Department of Public Safety. He's been fired, arrested, and just recently posted bail. John Jones once rubbed elbows with political elites, even the President of the United States. A Travis County judge did not make it easy for Jones to get out of jail, imposing a high bond and special conditions on his release. KVU's Jenny Lee joins us now, and Jenny, we're talking about a $750,000 bond. That's right, Mike, a high bond so Jones doesn't flee the country, and that's just one reason, according to a former state district judge who oversaw felony cases like this for more than two decades. In January, then DPS Chief of Intelligence and Counterterrorism John Jones was at the White House with President Donald Trump, making headlines on C-SPAN. John Jones. Chief of the Intelligence Counterterrorism Division with the Texas Department of Public right. Safety. Great reputation, Jeff. We've been there for about, I've been in that position for 10 years. Seven months later, Jones no longer holds that position. And the headlines on Wednesday, a female friend accusing him of raping her several times near his Leander home. Court documents detailed the brutality of the alleged crimes that took place the same day as Jones hosted a party on July 20th. The arrest warrant shows Jones and the woman taking a ride on an ATV when he forced it off the road and raped her several times. I think it's shocking. Charlie Baird is an attorney, but for more than 20 years, Baird presided over felony cases in Travis County as a state district judge. He says the high bond and the fact that Jones had to surrender his passport shows he is a flight risk. Baird also says the special conditions placed on Jones's release shows the judge's other concerns. As a specific conditions of this bond. He cannot have any contact at all with the victim, number one, and uh, which I think is extraordinary in this particular case is the judge has listed specific potential witnesses with whom the defendant cannot have any contact. So apparently uh, the judge was concerned about there being some type of re uh, retaliation or intimidation of those witnesses, and he wants to make sure that does not occur. Do you think it's because he knows them? Yes, I would think so. Yes, he. There's. it's not like these are strangers. Now, the Travis County Sheriff's Office, Texas Rangers, and the Travis County District Attorney's Office are all investigating. DPS Director Stephen McCraw fired Jones. He sent out an agency-wide email last night informing employees that while this was a disturbing news, the department takes allegations like this very seriously.